you little reaper. Objectives deactivated. The light force within enemy. Okay, thanks for tuning into the tips and tricks and overview of Gizmo on Bleeding Edge. So we're going to go over um, suckers first, which is basically grenades by pressing RB and then moving it with your right stick and releasing it. It's pretty crucial to know how to use these suckers to have any success with Gizmo. As you can see, just moving the right stick and release right RB and you're on. It's centered it off and you're done your direction. So that's the move I use quite often when playing. Um, if someone's chasing you to just throw up the sucker and use your bouncer by pressing B and then that puts you up in the air. You also need to, this is the fundamentals, but you should know how to move from player to player uh, holding in LT and then pressing RB and pressing the R stick in. Okay, using Y to put down turrets or as they called T nuts for Gizmo. Uh, they consistently take off damage off a player that's in like a short radius of it, as you can tell now. It's crucial to be using your turrets all the time. As much as you can, it creates a great distraction uh, for the opponents and you. Here's Mini Mac. Once you get enough, um, once you get 100%, you can press LB and I'll pick from Mini Mac or Rocket. You can see it's pretty cool. RB to use this flamethrower and then. Standard shooting, it also does. Here we go, there's a short breakdown of it all, as you can see. It's the same before, the suckers with the RB, T nut, the Y, and B for the uh, the bouncer. Now the uh, the bouncer is very, very crucial as well. Um, you, you've got to use a lot of distance with Gizmo. You, you can't go straight in like other characters. You need to step back and basically uh, let the tanks and so on go hard while you sit in the outside and sort of take them out slowly but surely. Yeah, as you can see with the GG gun, the fire rate increases the longer you got it on, which is great if you have a gizmo, obviously, because you just got to hold that lock in and be pressing X. Playing the objective is crucial again, very crucial. There's nothing worse than playing a game when everyone's doing the total opposite of what's supposed to happen. So always play the objective and stick with your team. We're going to rock it now. This is uh, just like the Mini Mac, one of the upgrades. There's two upgrades at the moment. I prefer the Mini Mac, but each to their own. Again, using a uh, bouncer. So crucial. I can't stress how crucial it is to get away from uh, players that you know are just going to pump you. Keeping that lock in. Keeping that lock in. Once you're locked in, you're taking them down. Way too far. Here we are with another gizmo trying to take me down. Again, using the T-Nut and the suckers. Trust don't rust. Trust don't rust. It's keeping that lock in. It's so crucial. Okay, time for an overview of Gizmo. We've got um, these mods are uh, still getting my head around them to be honest, but um, it's basically altering your um, your stats of, of your T nut, for instance, or your sucker, or your bouncer, or or your your mech suit, or whatever it may be.
The mods are going to be extremely important for individual play styles, so you just need to trial and error and see what works best for you. Um, they're unlocked just over levels, so the more you play the um, the game, they're unlocking. You can also purchase them, but um, I suggest just play through it. The standard setup at the moment's working fine for me now. That um, that you get when you start playing the game. Now, all the boards are pretty cool. Uh, there's many of options. I'm sure plenty more are going to come out after launch as well. But this is what we got so far. Many cool trails as well to unlock, as you can see. Pretty cool, the coins. Get your rainbow on, whatever you're looking for. The emotes are very cool. Again, many more are going to come out over time. This is launched when this video is done. But wow, there's some real cool ones already. That's my favourite. Let's bounce. Get a bit of Running Man India. Okay, the skins are pretty underwhelming to be honest so far. Like this, this is with all the characters. They did release the Punk Pack at launch, which is pretty cool. But I believe that was only for three or four characters. Uh, so it was slightly disappointing. It's just really color alteration at the moment. But as again, this is going to change over time. And the bio. So Gizmo's Australian, hence why I'm using it. Oh, I'm Australian too, so I thought it was pretty cool. And the accent she's got going is um, to a T. And then uh, birthplace is in Broken Hill, which is um, just on the border of South Australia and New South Wales. So, But it's in New South Wales. So yeah, it's pretty cool. I'm not going to read out her t total bio now. Check that out for yourself once you load up the game. But yeah, that's um, it's a bio. And that's it. If anyone's got any other tips or tricks, please put them in the comments. And um, yeah, I'll see you next time.